I'm Charles Bankhead of MedPage Today. Abnormal signaling through the hedgehog pathway is associated with development of basal cell carcinoma, the most common type of malignancy. A small proportion of these patients develop advanced and metastatic disease that often proves resistant to treatment. An investigational drug that inhibits aberrant hedgehog signaling has resulted in major responses or stable disease in eight of the first nine patients treated, according to data presented at the American Association for Cancer Research. Dr. Daniel Von Hoff of the Scottsdale Clinical Research Institute in Arizona discussed the findings with the drug, currently known as GDC-0499, at an AACR press briefing. Mutations in the hedgehog signaling pathway frequently occur in this disease, and most mutations occur in a receptor in these cells called PATCH, P-A-T-C-H-E-D. And um, although some occur also in another more rare gene called smoothened, S-M-O-O-T-H-E-N-E-D. Now these mutations uh, are, enable basal cell cancer to turn on growth and signaling pathways and uh, we think that no, no, that this presence of a hedgehog pathway antagonist, GDC0449, prevents this signaling pathway from occurring. Now at this time, we have nine patients that have been enrolled, and uh, they have at least one time period where they had another evaluation. All the patients had prior surgery, four of them had prior radiation, and three had previous chemotherapy. Uh, these basal cell cancer patients had disease that is spread to multiple locations, as I discussed this morning, to lung, bone, liver, into their ears or other areas in the skin. Now, of these nine patients, the good news is, is that eight of them currently remain on study. We only had one patient that was removed for progressive disease, and they've remained on study from 120 days now to uh, 438 and counting. Uh, the drug has, uh, as I showed this morning, uh, we showed that it shrunk the tumor in uh, patients on x-ray. Two of them had uh, lung metastases, tumor in the lung. Two of the patients had uh, almost complete disappearance of tumor from their face uh, near the ears, stopped ear drainage, as purulent, uh, pretty obnoxious odor cleared. Uh, two patients have had a pretty remarkable healing of their skin lesions. And there were two people in the study who didn't have shrinkage but so far have stabilization of their disease. Uh, these patients had relatively mild symptoms. Uh, some of the side effects that occurred, uh, it was a thing called dysgeusia, which is a change in the way people taste food. Uh, this was seen in uh, some patients. Some patients had a loss of body hair, not complete, uh, and that was only when people have been taking it for a long period of time, the thinning of their hair. Uh, some patients had mild weight loss, although some patients also gained weight as their appetite increased. And there was a little decrease in a blood element called sodium in, a, in two patients. Only one patient had to be on rest for a period of about 10 days twice. So to conclude, uh, we had eight of nine patients uh, with advanced basal cell carcinoma <coughs> that actually are getting clinical benefit of a very targeted, designed drug to do this. Uh, while on this phase one initial trial uh, with minimal to mild uh, drug toxicities and we feel that this work uh, does confirm now the potential of inhibiting the hedgehog pathway as a way of controlling uh, basal cell carcinoma in patients with advanced basal cell carcinoma. I'm Charles Bankhead, MedPage Today.